Here are 10 ways to animate your logo in After Effects. When it comes to logo animation, there's no one tutorial fits everyone's needs. So I figured I'd break down 10 different logo scenarios and hopefully give you some ideas for your project. For our first easy way to animate a logo, it's all about using shapes. For example, let's say we animate the scale and rotation of our logo to animate in like this. Well, it's simple and clean. However, you can create any shape that you want with the shape tool. I'll set this layer to stroke and turn off its fill. Then we can add a trim paths property. From here, we can animate the end from zero to 100%. And if you want to add extra animation, you can also animate the offset value. However, now you'll have this really cool and simple logo animation. But moving forward, one of the simplest ways to animate a logo but still have it be professional is by making it a 3D layer and then animate the X or Y rotation from 90 degrees to 0 degrees. This will create an effective 3D flip for your animation. Expanding on our shape animations, another cool way to introduce a logo is with these shape reveals. So I'll grab the ellipse tool to create a circle and I'll fill out my entire composition like this. Then I'll scale the entire layer from its current value down to 0%. Next, move forward and add a keyframe for scale and then move forward by a few more frames and scale it down just by a touch. Now we can duplicate our shape, select all the scale keyframes and scale it down in size just by a little bit. And we'll quickly apply the drop shadow effect to our duplicate, set the opacity to 100% and the softness to 100 and set the distance to zero. And we'll repeat this process a few more times. And once you have a few duplicates, offset them in your timeline and look at that, a cool way to reveal your logo. One of my favorite logo animation tricks is animating the outline of a logo. There's a couple of ways to do this. However, the technique I will show you will work for any logo that you have. First, you have to make sure that your logo is white. You can add the fill effect to set it to that color. Then pre-compose your logo. Now we'll apply the Vegas effect from Generate. And I'm pretty sure the person that created this effect must have loved Las Vegas or something. But first things first, set the blend mode to transparent. Set the segments to one, and now set the hardness, midpoint opacity, and the end opacity all to one. And you can also increase the width as well. Now animate the length from zero to one, or at least close to one. And I'll all click the stopwatch for rotation and add a time asterisk 20 expression just like this. And now you have a non-destructive workflow to make any logo a stroke logo. All right, let's get into a little bit more of a custom logo animation. Depending on your logo, you may have natural areas where it can be easily separated. For example, I can mask this logo into two separate layers. Then we can animate each part separately. I'll just animate the position value here, but you can get way more creative than me. And now this logo is animating in from separate areas. Before we move on, this is a great time to mention that we have a template pack of 100 cinematic logo animations in which you can swap in your logo and text all within under a minute. You can check out our free pack and all 20,000 plus templates that we have with the links in the description below. If your logo has these sort of lines, you can actually animate the full length of those lines. Here's how. The first thing to do is to duplicate your logo. Then we'll grab the pen tool and create masks to follow the lines of the logo. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Now we'll add the stroke effect from the generate menu. Change the effect to transparent and increase the brush size to be really large. Then set the track mat of your stroke logo to the original logo. This will hide how messy things were getting. And now just animate the end percent to reveal your stroke. Make sure all mask is checked and do what you want with the stroke sequentially. And that's a more advanced version of a stroke logo animation. All right, let's go super simple again. This is what I call a flyby logo animation. Make your logo layer 3D and go to the transform position. Add a keyframe for position and go to your first frame in your timeline. Then adjust the Z value to make your logo fly past the camera. Now, if we play this back, the pacing is bad. So make the last keyframe easy ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard and go to the graph editor. Just drag the handle all the way to the center, just like this. And now we have a professional flyby reveal. All right, so this video definitely would not be complete without showing a glitch logo. And it's so easy to do this. What we'll do is create some rectangle shapes like this. Then we'll cut the layer to be only two frames long. Then we'll expand on this random design like this. 
You'll only need to create a few unique rectangle layers and then you can just duplicate it. And we only need about one second of these shapes. For the last layer, make sure it's the longest like this. Then pre-compose all your shapes and call it map. Create an adjustment layer and then apply the displacement map effect. Set horizontal displacement to 25 and the vertical to zero. Then make sure the map layer is set to your shapes that you just pre-composed. All right, then let's do some crazy animation by adding a keyframe at one second and setting the horizontal displacement value to 250. Then move forward by a second and set it down to zero. This will ease the glitch into your normal logo. I will also create a null object and attach the logo and the map to that null object. I can then animate the scale of the logo to be large and then snap back to regular size before the ease of the glitch. And that's a simple glitch logo. All right, let's go back to creating some fast effects by breaking apart our logo like a madman. Apply the CC pixel poly effect to your logo. We'll set the gravity to zero, the grid space into about six, it's up to you, and the start time to about four seconds. Then pre-compose your logo. Then right click that pre-comp layer and make sure the time reverse your layer. Then trim up the layer in your timeline and now your logo will form from a million pieces. My math is definitely wrong there, but you know, you get it. All right, you made it to the end, our last logo animation. Thank you for watching this far and hopefully all these techniques have been helpful. This last one is all about turning your logo into a 3D stroke reveal. I'm not gonna go too much in depth on this one as I have a full tutorial linked in the description that you can watch. All right, let's take that Vegas logo animation that we did in Technique 4. We just need to turn the layer into a 3D layer and apply this expression to its position. This expression will be in the description of this video for you to copy and paste. Then I'll quickly add a fill effect to make it gray. And now I'll duplicate this a bunch of times. So now this logo is 3D and to prove it, I'm gonna go ahead and create a camera and change up the angle. Also, it's recommended that you add a drop shadow to the bottom two logo layers. So now you can get some creative angles and create a full 3D logo. Be sure to watch the full video if this logo animation interests you and always be creative.